welcome back to the shooting channel and i'm going to go through a little bit of a talk about something that i've heard lots there's lots of people talking about it on the internet in the comments below in the reviews um, all over the place is when i start shooting or i've been shooting for a long time do i shoot with an eye closed or both eyes open and the biggest rule of thumb is that you have both eyes open. And the reason why is when you're going out on a corporate day or a stag do or something just to go and have a bit of fun and bang, it doesn't really make any odds. But when you want to learn to shoot and move on up in the sport, you need both eyes to see a target. If I'm going to shoot a target that's 40, 50 yards away, you want both eyes to see it. There's lots of different variations that people can do. And eyes are something that people get so complicated with. Before you do anything, before you change your gun, before you do anything, go to your local shooting school, have a lesson and see what the instructor says. Don't go to your opticians, go to a shooting school, see what the instructor says. If it's a professional shooting school, that proper instructor will know about eyes and people have all sorts of problems with eyes but the biggest thing we're trying to do is you're going to get your gun and the biggest thing you're trying to do is you've got an angle created by your jawbone and your cheekbone and that gun and your eye comes over the top of that rib there so you don't have your head like that you have your eyebrows parallel and your head is there and you see my eyeball is above that rib. Now, if your eyeball is not above that rib, that is when you will start to think about, what do I do? Do I close an eye? Some people will close an eye just to try and get their eye in line with the rib and all that sort of thing. But why don't you go and try some different guns to try and get that gun fit right? And this is the biggest thing, is people think about closing an eye or they don't know what to do before they've looked at the gun fit and that is the key go and make sure that gun is fit to you and you're handling that gun correctly if your gun and if your eye is below the rib here you're not going to be able to see the target you're shooting at and if you're going to go and shoot a tall target like a driven and you go right back there your eye is being pushed into that rib into that behind that top lever even more and this is where if you're really tall or you're really small, this is where you have an adjustable comb. But again, it comes down to going to that shooting school, having that lesson and making sure that the gun is fit right. Because if the gun's not fit right, then you don't know whether it will work one eye closed, both eyes open. I've got a 40 yard, 50 yard target. Now, if I have one eye closed, it's gonna struggle to see it. So you need both eyes open just to see that target to start with. So if you're going to go and start to shoot some real big registered shoots or some British open targets, you need both eyes to see it. But that is where you need to sort out the eyes first. Now, you might have a slightly dominant one eye, but there's way, if you go to a professional instructor, there's ways of trying that out and finding out. You can't find out by going on the internet, pointing at something, looking for a box. Again, we have a way here, or, or the Oxford Gun Company team have a way there of going to a basic incomer, looking at that and going through a procedure to find out if you've got an eye problem. So if you're watching this and you think, oh, I've been really confused, I've had all these lessons, I've gone to all these gun clubs, I've gone on a local stag do, and they're telling me to close an eye, they're telling me to keep both eyes open, comment below and please let me know on the issues that you have had and please let me know how we can help or how I can help at the shooting channel to help you to move on in your shooting and that's the biggest thing you need to know is if you're looking for an eye open or eye closed or both eyes open give us a comment talk to Alex and he will organize something for you for you to come up or for you to have a lesson with someone wherever you are in the country we can help and we will send you to the correct shooting school and instructor to help you so i'm just going to shoot a couple of targets with two different guns i've got the browning 
laminate and I've got the Blazer F16. So the laminate in Brownie's range is one of the highest comb guns Browning do. So again, if you need that high comb, this is where I look at that. Whereas the F16 has got a, it's, a, it's not a really low comb, but it's slightly lower than this. The F16 does have an adjustable comb as well. So you can have that extra, extra as well. Pull. 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 So that was a various different targets that I was shooting with the Browning. Both eyes open, but again, it's the height in the comb keeps my head up off the up over the top of the rib. So that was both eyes open. Now I'm going to shoot a gun with a slightly lower comb. And again, thanks to Fiocchi for lending it, for giving us the cartridges. F black, 28 grams. Pull. 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 So I've shot both guns, both eyes open. Okay, this one's a fraction low in the comb, but generally it doesn't make any difference because I know that on both guns, my eye comes over the top of that rib. I know that that gun fits and I can see that clay. And that is the most important thing. If you can't see what you're shooting at, you're not gonna hit it. And that is the biggest important thing that we need to get through to people out there before they buy their gun or if they've got their gun and they've had a real hard time and they can't hit anything come and have a look at gunfit before you start thinking about eyes come and have a look at gunfit 90 percent of problems that i see is, is generally it's bad gunfit rather than eyes and again i'm going to show you both with both guns, where my eye comes up on this rib. So this is the blaster. And this is the browning. And everyone is different. So if you are sat at home and you're watching this and you're thinking, I can't hit a barn door. What do I do? Do I keep my eye closed? Do I have both eyes open? Let me know. Are you one of those people that are in the, in the mindset of, I don't know, I can't, my shooting doesn't improve? Comment below on whether we can help you or how we can help you. What films we can put out, how we can help you. How this film has helped you to move on up. And if, you're, if you are miles away from me, comment below. We might even be able to help you if you're miles away, if there's a local ground or an instructor that we would recommend for you to go and see. I hope you've enjoyed this program. For more information on anything you've seen in this program, please comment below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next, next one. Mm -hmm.